louder. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got some parts we're putting on the Civic today. The last video you guys actually seen of this thing was when I made a smoothie. It made just kind of a big mess over here. So you can see we got little smoothie remnants in the turbo, all that type of stuff. If you guys have not watched that video, pretty entertaining. We actually made a decent smoothie and then I, I ate it. Ty ate some drink, ate drink, whatever you want to call it. Some of it, James came and had some and it, it wasn't a bad thing. So uh, the reason for doing that with this turbo if you guys didn't see the ice cream cruise video, I had basically this vacuum line right here that popped off of this thing right here, about 40 pounds of boost, got sucked in the turbo and ate it. So it was not was not Garrett's fault. I didn't overspin it, didn't do anything like that. Literally, vacuum line popped off and ate it. So uh, basically got with the guys over at Garrett, told them about it, and uh, so we got a brand new, basically, uh, center section and front compressor housing and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this bolted on there uh, Pretty stoked about that because this thing's been down for I think it's been about a month or so um, And we also have some other goodies too. So got the the valve cover powder coated This is one thing that I've been wanting to do for a while to uh, to actually kind of change up the look of the engine Obviously, we're kind of going with like a uh, yellow black and purple slash blue theme so we have the blue seats in here and uh, so we're gonna go with a little bit of like a blurple uh, valve cover to kind of blend in between. And then we also have a set of street wheels. So these are Conig Feathers. Um, got these from my buddy Nick when I got the giveaway car and we ended up putting the street wheels, which are the decagrams, off of this onto that car and I really liked the way they looked. Um, and it gave me the opportunity to uh, actually have these wheels because these were what we were initially gonna put on it but I just, I waited too long. Um, so I had these powder coated basically to match the valve cover or I had these donuts done first then this and then I also got a set of uh, some 20550 uh, like 200 tread wear uh, tires for the street or the track or, or whatever you want uh, but those ones should be able to put down a little bit more uh, more power to the ground than the all seasons that were on there because the all-wheel drive was spinning a little bit on the street so uh, Street wheels, valve cover. Uh, we got the valve cover powder coated for uh, the SR20 that is going in the S14, uh, which little updates and stuff with that later. And also a subscriber uh, was messaging me back and forth. Or we actually emailed each other quite a bit back and forth. He said he would cut me out a set of um, basically exhaust hood exit plates. So as you guys see, I got this kind of really crude opening right here. And uh, we'll basically be able to cover it up with that. So we'll have a nice little plate. So the Civic is actually getting some much needed attention. And one of the last things, or one of the, the other pieces of the puzzle, is actually this little turbo guard type screen. So this is another one that I found on, uh, on eBay. And I actually like the way it looks because it's, uh, you know, it's not giant holes, but it's not tiny holes. And it kind of has this little billet looking cover around the edge. Uh, with the little uh, little things. I just think it looks pretty good. Uh, makes it look still pretty aggressive. Um, but yeah, overall, I think that's about it. I got some fresh clamps uh, for the back side of, uh, of this thing. Um, when we put the, the little hood exit thing, it was kind of starting to droop and I over tightened that. So uh, get a fresh exhaust clamp on it, get it set up into place, put all this stuff on. And the plan for tonight is actually take this thing to uh, to the drag strip and see how uh, see how it does. But got to swap the turbo. Uh, got to swap a couple other little things, and uh, yeah, basically just got to get to work. So uh, yeah, let's hop into it.
So she is 100% all back together, ready to go. Uh, basically, just ready to turn the key now. Got a new line on here, new vacuum line. Uh, this is just like a coolant overflow that goes from that cap, but I have the I have the Motion Race Works one over here uh, with that little clear line. Um, catch cans hooked up, valve covers on. Ran a little extra ground over here, and uh, I think we should be solid. We should be ready to go. So. Brand new Garrett Turbo on there. Really stoked to see that. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this thing on right now because I definitely don't want to run run this guy without one. Um, I think that looks all right. You can still see in there and, and see the, the big old blades, the big old freaking windmill blades. But uh, yeah, so I guess I just gotta fire this thing up. Two big old giant fuel pumps, starter, all that stuff on a tiny battery, I don't think is a good idea. All right guys, so I must be a bad YouTuber or something like that because I literally threw the SD card in the computer and started editing a Civic video. Didn't even show you guys the wheels on this thing yet or explain what we just did. So uh, these are the wheels on here. Um, I, I really like that color. I think it, 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 I wish it was a little bit lower, but with all drive stuff and you know swapping the slicks and stuff back and forth on it, it basically needs to, to stay at that ride height right now. Um, so I went ahead and just threw these rings on, just like set them on here to see. And it's a little bit off. I think it need, this one needs to be just a little bit oblong. So we might, uh, we might kind of cut that out a little bit more to get this to fit, but that's definitely gonna look a lot better and I could either paint them or do whatever. Uh, this one should be fine. You can see how it's oblong, but the way it kind of goes through, that should work out pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it uh, runs and drives. Pretty good. Uh, if you guys just seen that pass on Draggy, that was uh, closed course uh, professional driver, not me. It was definitely was not me. Um, but you can see how fast this thing is. Pretty uh, pretty fast car. So I, I think it could probably do a little bit better on a different uh, on a different track. Um, but you know maybe we'll have to uh, to test that out another day. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to go for a little drive in this thing and uh, go cruise it around. Ty hasn't been in it in a really long time. You haven't even, nobody's been in it with the new turbo. Mm -hmm. Cause it literally, it's been. Cause I haven't had the seat in it since Ice Cream Cruise? No, you had it. No, ice cream. it was PSCA. Yeah. After we got back from PSCA, yeah. because I ripped the seat out, cause I was doing a bunch of wiring, and then we were gonna do race week with it. And then the seat was out of it for that, uh, because I was doing a bunch of wiring and stuff. So literally nobody's rode in the Civic in a couple months. And, uh, you know, me and one other person have been the people to drive it. But, uh, yeah. You want to go for a little rip? Who else drove it? Whoever was doing that draggy pass, but it wasn't me. All right, Ty, you ready to go for a rip? Let's do it. I'm excited. Are you? Are you actually excited? Yeah. It's been everyone's a while. Gonna, everyone's going to tell you I'm always on my phone. Cause I'm because he's always, he's always on his phone all right well let's uh passenger seats in tight ready to go we're good we got the the bti gauge back in properly mounted got the draggy hooked up go for some little rips all right throw some new uh e85 in it before we go she's about half tank dietrich's fuel system 
Still super solid. This thing handles, handles it all. That's the Civic. She's all uh, she's all back up. She's ripping. This Garrett G42 is a absolute freaking animal, and this uh, this whole car is just crazy. I really like the the new valve cover. It's kind of it almost kind of blends in now. Like there's just before you had like the silver turbo and the silver valve cover. But now you got like the blue and like the purple, and they kind of kind of similar. So it almost kind of blends in. So from like far away, you can't really tell kind of what it is other than the big old turbo. But uh, pretty stoked on the wheels. It's nice actually having a set of uh, kind of stickier tires for the street, uh, you know, just in case we actually need to go do some some street things. Um, but uh, yeah, the Draggy is, uh, is definitely a cool app. Um, you know, I just seen the video from that. I wish I'd have been able to be in the car, you know, when uh, when that was going on. But uh, Ty seemed to uh, to really enjoy it. That thing, it's just it's crazy how fast this thing is, really, and. Uh, yeah, so the 60 to 60 to 130, that's a super common uh, thing. Kind of on draggy, there's like a leaderboard and stuff, and it shows like regions and like gear, make, model, all that stuff. So this this car is technically sixth in the, the Honda category now. It was seventh, but now it's sixth uh, at a 439. Uh, and uh, there's it's crazy that uh, I, I think like the Speed Factory car, the one that wrecked, that one did like a 2.09 or something crazy like that, or a 2.9, which is absolutely nuts to go from 60 to 130 like that um but i think that's going to be it for this uh this video i want to take it to the drags but uh, the drag races were closed tonight uh, i fixed the fixed a couple little things on it and uh, she's ready to rip so pretty stoked about the civic to have it back up and running and uh, i just wish there was another uh event going on soon there's an event going on tomorrow at bandamere uh but tomorrow we're actually getting the the ek picked up uh, the shippers are picking up and delivering it to California, uh, and they're they're coming tomorrow. So I uh, can't make it up to that, which was another thing I was kind of prepping this thing for. But uh, you know, I definitely want to get that thing out to Isaac. But uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, see you later.